I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. This is a keep. It can play an Asmo. That's about it though, and it's a one lander. I'll probably move. This looks better. I probably put back cards. Or do I put back book and discard cards? Let's do that, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go green, black. I put back third land with Saga? No, no way. Let's go Overground Tomb. I'll have a two mock world because I have a white white card in my deck, so that's a bit of an issue, but we'll see. But with Saga, I definitely want the third land in, in there. Is this your version of your seen some ones? It's based on a deck that was sent to us by a viewer. I opened the one ring singleton card, I could sell it to you if you want. Okay. The one out of one, you mean? Every name kind of key. Well, I know you have a name, but like if I tell a random Twitch chatter that it was from Skepas G, then they'd be like, huh? So I tell them, oh, it was from a viewer. Just seems to make more sense. Clear messaging from a fan, yeah. Scaling turns, scamping ground, creativity, but that's on Holy Heat, so unlikely. Okay, yeah, I play Tarmogoy for Ren, just Ren, simple. I'll get Temple Garden, I don't know if Temple Garden has priority over... Godless Shrine doesn't really seem like it, they seem pretty similar in the deck. I found three and a half dollar in a street gather and went to buy a single booster pack and opened happened to open the one out of one ring. It's only in collector booster, so it's like ten thousand for a one booster. I guess that, yeah, double blacks is better than double green. Probably it does sound like it if you think about it. Uh, I don't really have anything. Could have made nine thousand dollars boosters. That's such a good idea. Maybe do a spring leaf dram and cycle the slide clearing this ten, but book is kinda long term useful. Yeah, I can rally the still seeker. What you doing opponent? Savitrium. Ren dies, that's crazy. Teration. Is that a Valakut deck? Seems like. Would Ren? Okay, it's just creativity, but with unholy hit. Makes sense. Okay, make that makes sense too. Uh so what what I was about to ask. Would Ren be better as a blue green card or blue red card? Discuss. I guess I'll play some. Not discussing. Come on, bro. Oh, I guess I can discard some and then rally on two. Maybe I attack first. But I do get a lot of sudden triggers. That's actually very nice. Because I get like three artif two artifacts entering. Do I return the cat beforehand? Because then I get one plus trigger. I don't have blue mana up. So I think I attack first. Play land attack first. Let's play land attack first, yeah, that makes sense. Have to be green because of flavor. Yeah, I guess blue red doesn't make much sense. A champ makes sense. Discard some. Deal six. Return cut. And rally now. I'm not sure if that's good, if it's that good. And like, or maybe saving the cat is bad because like I get one less sudden trigger. Got to do it in combat, why is that better? Because I get to hit the... okay. I get to hit the Daredevil, okay. 
But I get to just also sacrifice, make a food token. Now, yeah, I guess it was, well, yeah. Cancer wins. Okay, it's not quite a combo yet, but interesting stuff. So we're up against creativity. I have two hallowed moonlight, which I'm going to board in. And I don't like Velo Summer because they played the fairy and it's absolutely hacking useless. So we're gonna board down on one ether vial and I don't know what else can we cut in this deck. Combo pieces. No, I can cut one daredevil. I guess. Which is always the strat. Could trim Asmo. Just say maybe Asmo is not great. Ay, ay, ay. Very bad mana here. Hmm. Four lands, no castables. Sickless, bro. Is that genuine or sarcastic? I think we go to six. This is a bit too much. On the draw, if we get our saga spanked. I look at the list before I looked at your hand. Yeah, yeah. This just I guess I cut down on vial, so now I can't play Asmo. Let's say I keep this and put back ra rally. Probably rally. But it needs to... Oh, it's just a saga deck with a 2-drop that's golden. That's a bit not great. Swamp Jam Gam G. Ay, 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 I don't think there is really a chance I want to Fortsies myself, right? Or is there? Maybe I wait on the Fortsies. Maybe I do Fortsies myself. When do I Fortsies myself? I mean, Asmos. Hmm. Let's like fetch it up to one. They're holding spell pierce probably anyway. Do you turn one Fortsies turn to some? Okay. I guess this opening. Kinda sus. Godless my shrine. Pogless shrine. Spring leaf drum, huh? Oh, I'll play some now. No fable, no nothing, so. Okay, I think. I think I do this. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> they didn't even check. I mean, you know, it's like not a bad play. <laughs> because they still like get the same thing. They get still get to cycle it, but it's funny because they didn't even check who it was targeting most likely. He's a phenomenal control player. It seems F6, so I'll just assume they don't have peers because it's also hugely beneficial for me for them not to have peers. Keep spring leave them to discard to Archon if needed. Nice YouTube short. I, uh, I'll note it down, I guess. Is it any better to discard a Daredevil since you can just get it back next turn? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like the drum would be there to get back the Daredevil. Kind of a short, short hand. Here, have a nice meal, buddy. So we have Rally, but I don't have anything in my graveyard, which I think is a little bit of an issue. I mean, it kind of didn't draw any creatures, but would be good to draw Nidare and Vegas. Also, Pelt, thank you very much, Pelt. Thank you much for the sub.
have another creativity. Not nice. Seems like there would be better creativity targets than Archon. No, Archon is great. It's just like doesn't match up against Oval Chase Daredevil. It's like one of the few things that it doesn't match up great against. But it's it's great overall. Is it better to rally? That's weak versus spears, or do I go Ranger Captain get Asmo discard rally? Do they have other creatures inside? Yeah, Emraku. Often, sometimes Yona. Let me go Ranger Captain. Captain get cat discard cat. Why is that good? Yeah. I'd rather get Asmorana, I think. Some people, some people play Atraxa, but Archon is mostly better. Because it has an onboard impact. Like, unless your opponent is doing some really, like, odd stuff. Awesome haircut, man. Thanks. Once again, I get a nice haircut message, and it's on a day where I didn't wash my hair in the morning. It really makes you... Oh... It really makes you think that... The entire, like, shampoo thing is just a scam. But yeah, we didn't have counterplay versus that. It's kind of hard to cast Asmo. Maybe I keep the Vial. You're not supposed to wash your hair every day. I know, and I don't. But I'm just always get the comments that I have nice hair on the days that I didn't. That's less the, That's what I'm noting. Uh, I'll cut the BIOS or whatever. Maybe there is some other like discard outlet. Well, there isn't. Finally, of devastation to get Asmos. Ay, 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 ay. This is a keep. If I draw a land, it is a keep, I think. What if you sack Captain before you activate Asmo? Then that seems like a humongous investment. I don't feel like I was in in a position to to do that. Turn one Saga, you say. I don't know if I love that because I would rather have constructs if possible. This deck seems to be trying to do too many things. Okay. Which one which one of the things is that like too many thing? <laughs> nice mana base. Rally. It probably would be good to have it a two color deck, but why fetch? Yeah, probably like yeah, yeah, I didn't think that through. I did I should have not fetched. Is one time worth having? Probably no. They typically not worth it in like such low care of decks. I'll cycle this because hitting a land seems way better than like holding this. It does feel like rally kind of stinks though. Okay, saved. Saved. I'm making a construct. Don't want to place Steel Seeker into the here. A removal. Much better against the fairy to hold up Saga with the construct. Making ability. Yeah, rally looks looks terrible. And also making the mana white white is also a big commitment. Now that mana dogs are playable in modern, maybe you can play like a company deck more so because there is the one two mana dog that makes sense actually to play. Let's lock suck into a land. Graveyard. Call of the Dev Dwell is kind of cool, right? Because it can reanimate. Like, you don't need the cat in your graveyard, so if you have everything in your graveyard, Call of the Dev Dwell can reanimate some and the Seras here, and that works. Any semblance for Fossies here? Semblance? Like, I, I kind of wanted to Fossies a little bit, but it seemed worse for me than playing Asma. They get to exchange their hand anyways, pretty large part. Patch up? I don't know what's patch up. 
Return free creatures. Is that a real card? Where is it from? Sounds like the like uncard. Oh no, it's from okay, Pacha because it's from the Mafia set. Do you think they'll have Vale? Can we be on the Imperial Recruiter? Well, Imperial Recruiter has the downside of being a hor horrible card, I think. I'll probably discard one of my rallies. And we're gonna see if that gives me the saga. I mean, patch up looks also worse than Call of the Dead Dweller, right? There's no upside over it. Okay. Oh, I can get Basmo. That's nice. I didn't realize that. So this goes to my graveyard because of Rally. Probably would prefer not to get Spell Pierced. On the cookbook. Okay. Seems advantage is to get Veiled. So that they can't Veil the Asmo. A rally for two just wins next turn, right? Yeah, yeah, that's... That's the idea. They could create ADX too, then I would not have Rally. Which would be problematic, but... I mean, they would also need to have a Veil to protect. Which they want. Oh wait, I'm missing a mana. I... Okay, I did not realize I was missing a mana. Oops. If I kept still seeker, I could discard this to find, to look two cards deep for a land, that would have been... Okay. Captain, get cut, discard cut, two Archon trigger. No, that's there if there's two Archons, then that's, that's not very good. I kinda blanked and I think I am gonna die now. Whoops. Maybe they don't have second creativity. We don't need second creativity yet, this is right here. Interestingly, patch up and call both would work here, yeah, yeah. Rally is pretty bad. Ay, 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 ay. Rally for one is same as making two food. In what way? I may get a guild that goes, yeah, yeah. They also attacked with the goblins, so they probably have a spell pierce to begin with, and nothing ever mattered. But yeah, I guess that's the way, that's the thing I see. Ranja, get cut, make two foot kill Archon, I think. Well, then I think I would prefer to do this. Keep the Ranger. Kurwa, znowu tego Vejla mamy pierdolonego, no już daj se siana, no wkurwiasz tylko już. Vejl tu, Vejl tam. Po chuju takie. I mean, you can't really, like, proactively sacrifice your captain to... to make your opponent not... I mean, you just can't do that. I know Twitcher lost the lines. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. what to take? They're not casting Rally and Ranger in the same turn, nobody suggested that. Discard Rally. Probably take Vortex, I could take Rift Bolt, kinda. Hey, Swift Spear, honestly, no. I, I'll take Rift Bolt. I think the win con for me is to play Saga. And crack food tokens. I can play the Stint Steel Seeker now. And I'll block. I chose not to play an Arid Mesa, but I guess. Ask you, I sure. 
Skewer the creature? That's insane, bro. Vortex doesn't let you gain life. Care. Well, if they paid mana, then yeah. But not just a given from, from the get-go. You have to pay for that. So we might actually be able to gain life with... Why well, no fetch shock fortsies? Because I valued my life points more than seemingly you do. Trolling Vortex. I see. Patch up is total mana value equal to less or uh, to free. Does that still work? Yes. Make sure you use a full at the beginning of upkeep. Why? Ten, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm just gonna kill them, chat. You say stuff about cracking food or whatnot. Just kill. This is a nice thing about the Asmodex is that the constructs grow to big sizes rather easily. So I was able to defeat my opponent. Now, as far as anti-burn cards go, we have Parent on Four, Shender and Haywire Might, so those are gonna come in. Well, the Fotsies is maybe gonna get reduced to the two copies, I guess what else. You know, our deck is themed around food, so how could I not win against a deck themed around dealing damage? Well, maybe by drawing Swamp Saga Saga Green White card. Couldn't they have killed you with the triggers on the stack? Well, I, they were taking 18 damage, 16 damage. So there was no gonna be any triggers on the stack. Needle for Vortex, that's actually pretty fine. We should have done that, yeah. Put back this, I guess. Maybe Cogbook is better to put back, yeah, because I can get Cogbook with Saga. People for years, free color Urza Saga decks have terrible mana, they are not playable. Someone gets released, you know, it got to try. But like if you try to play this deck without Saga, it just feels so silly. Because then like you don't have a Saga and everybody in the Twitch chat is going to ask you, hey, can I start to consider playing Saga? And it's really tough. I think people are playing too few combos with Samwise, okay? How, what other combos should I, should I add? Spike's Esper combo deck was almost there. Sure. It was a blue-black deck at some point. Just couldn't beat Puffing Needle. Who is Spike? That's a good question. Can Vial put us when to play? Yes. Coco, Samwise, Rosie, Oak, Combo, ignore the food. But, it, that's, but the Samwise isn't needed in that. Ignore the food? What? I mean, they like Rosie plus Oak is a combo. So what does Samwise do? I had this build. What do you think of this, bros? 10 dorks, Kyla's Reconstruction. Kyle the 1-1. One one. Thank you, Mr. Backseat Gamer. I absolutely wouldn't have figured that out too myself, so you saved me. Sapi Rallyer Altar can speed up the process or rally the ancestor for Samwise Cauldron. I don't understand what you're talking about. Sophie Rallyer uh, Altar. So that's a combo too, okay. Thought you weren't paying attention. I was looking at my phone, that's true. Next time, Valley <laughs> Tutor. No phone during working hours. This is your first verbal warning, okay.
Oh no, I threw the Vesera sir. Yeah, but that doesn't combo with Heliod. Heliod has only Spike Feeder. Yeah, but Heliod combos with Live Gain. So if you crack a food token, you put a counter on your creature. And that's really good. No, not the Lightning Bolt. Adding the Lighted Hobbit to Helia doesn't seem terrible. I agree with that. Chad, did you know that Samwise Gamgee's real name was Terre Green Pook? Go to free for a ranger. Pickle Sam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, high war might is good. Might be good. Oh, high wire might. Should have attacked first, but I literally don't care. Am I going to upload the live of the Pioneer Challenge you topped with Boros Convo? Yes, yes. Smash to Smitherins. Smitherins smash. Smash or pass. Opponent chose pass. It's kind of fucked up that foods are artifacts. It's so fucked up, yeah. That's cool, crack bro. Wow. I can't even prevent damage with this. That sucks. We're gonna make a guide for Ragdosack? Yes, yes, there will be a video for Ragdosack. Really, really soon. Really soon I'll, I'll finish working on it. As soon as I start and I guess actually work. I am keeping this. Wait, this is actually live? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Hi. I think you should write scripts for your streams. Yeah. Ale mi się pić chce, kurde. Idę po wodę. No, my hand. That doesn't sound like a script, lizard. You would need to have the joke spelled out. Kurwa, się jakieś kofersy gra mnie. Look at their hands. The lens, bros. They kept. Takenuma. They kept this. Takenuma. A land that doesn't tap for mana. A second copy of the land that doesn't tap for mana. A tapped castle locked away in a monocolor deck. Cling to dust. Potsies. Map. I mean, my hand is not much better, so who am I to judge? But just, it's kind of funny. Turak. I summon Samwise Gamgee, by which I mean a vaguely human shaped or halfling shaped silhouette in front of a fountain. I summon Geralt of Rivia. Did you know that Rivia is not actual Geralt's home place? And in fact, I don't even remember if it exists in, in lore. Is it just where he killed a lot of people? No, that was a different place. Rivia it was it was just made up. And he was uh just made up a birth place so it would be more relatable for people or something. I don't know if I should fought these them, but I don't think so. Because we know that most of the cats in their hand they seem to be blank.
Vivia is a real place in Witcher lore. In that case, it is a real place, but it is not the birthplace. Why hold the cards? To discard it to... To... An effect that discards. It will punish me if I draw the Scryer. So they used... Locked Wayne, so now I can force them. How do they discard the Archon in their deck? Do they? Or do they just cast it? How do I have 8 life? What happens? I didn't do anything. Crazy how sometimes you don't do anything and you have 8 life. Is there Lochtwain activation? Or is that March of Red Sorrow? Oh, it's Clank. Okay. Yeah, I guess that works. Right, the Ancestors is incredible in this deck, though. How was the Forge and New modern deck? Good or question mark? Forge and New is a good card in, in in the deck. Oh no, not the Blast Zone. Forge and New is good. Hashtag good. What if you had reverse thought season? You could like throw your hand to your opponent, but they lose to life. Then you throw something out. That would be crazy. It took cookbook. I guess that makes sense because Rally doesn't do anything. Umberal writes. Right, right. That's the white splash. Profane Tutor, obviously. Unless they went for one and one of Rally three times, that's why I shared the list. Interesting. I mean, the rally seems only good if you if you get a steel seeker or preferably two, and they just chill on the battlefield for a while, which doesn't seem that hmm, reliable. Cut the goose, and I don't know one giant G. Wait, no, no, let's not cut jump G. Let's cut the rally. I was going to say, isn't reverse forces hide your hand? Draw a card and gain two. Actually, a good point. Maybe we play only free saga. Uh, it's probably, it seems better to like build around making saga good than dropping saga. Do I take map or do I take like Turak? I'll take map because their hand doesn't seem to do anything to me, but their top decks will prove me wrong probably. I, I don't know. Develop saga. Kill them with the constructs. I guess, I guess Turag is kinda powerful against Cookbook, right? Can you bring Lingering Souls back? That's a good idea. On my way. They print game object cards, but they spread them across all the colors of Magic the Gathering, making the experience of trying to build a deck in Constructed so... so rough.
Well, Carlos is fine. You can play that anyway, right? But... How do I have 10 life? Nothing happened. Oh, and same thing. How do I have 4 life? Nothing happened. Well... I have a question. Sure, ask away. What do I think about the Demilich Phoenix deck? From what I've seen of it, I haven't played. I haven't played with it. I only played against it. From what I've seen of it, I was not impressed with the Millich in Pioneer. It's not castable before you get to four mana anyway, so it's pretty expensive, even if it's free. And that's that's rough. Sand doesn't do anything, so let's mulligan. The Sand has two sagas, so let's keep. Do you test the deck? As I said, I have not played with the deck. I only played against it. But I always kind of feel like Phoenix like is best at using the cheap creatures to pressure and Phoenix like Phoenix is to grind. What a hand. And damage is also for grinding, but it's not really pressuring. And like also in matchups like mono green, it's also gonna be quite bad, I think. Nice veil of summer. They keep ranges as long as they kept, I think, five cards. Yeah, they kept five cards, so like I mean that's fine. On five. Not afraid of Saga fetching a graveyard hate card? Well, correctly so, as I don't have any. Why would I? I'm not sure if that's the best move, but... Have we assembled the combo even one time? I've think so, yeah. Want to discard a saga? I don't know. Why not? Maybe. I think we, we assembled the combo against Creativity Game 1. The first game, first match we played, so. But it seems kinda, kinda rough, and like Gamji is kinda, but kind of a bad card. Persist, yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's really good. Cut. Osmo. Zaga. Cockbook. Oh yeah. Checkmate. Infinite loop. I mean, finite loop. Okay, we are 2 1 with this deck. Yeah, I don't know about that, bro. Maybe we can make like a 4 drum deck, and that is gonna fix the colors. You know, somewise. No, somewise. I, I don't think I ever drawn the Granger Captain really. Let's take the Agentos. It's interesting to me that they play Snakeskin Veil. I guess it's kind of flexible. You're gonna smack me. No, you're gonna fucking kill me, bros.
Smudging. Turn free kill. Prufozzi, smiley face. Yeah. Well, somehow I like once again run into a deck that I have no cyborg cards against. I guess I'll just resubmit. Maybe needle for ink mob, but it just seems sounds sketch. I'll just resubmit. I'll just resubmit. Yeah, yeah. We're playing as coffers, in fact. Typical typical post lot or modern you know competitive league situation. Am I supposed to keep this? Let's say I am. Needle comes in over Rally for sure. That's based on Rally being bad, I guess. That deck probably got better with the ring. Infect? No, you're not talking about the infect. Coffers. I don't know if they had ring in their deck. Didn't seem like. Maybe they do. Sweet dreams are made of these. How do you ever win with Glistener Elf? What do you do if you just play blockers and block? Sounds like a terrible plan. Rally, more like really. I mean, when we got the Seal Seeker, Overwatch's Daredevil combinations, it's quite nice. The problem is that Steel Seeker is kind of a horrid card when you don't have Cookbook. Oh, I... I'm blocking, I'm not a pussy. Muta again, okay. If I kept... Hmm. But if I rally, I get to mill lots of cards. Like really a lot. Because I also get to make lots of food tokens, I'm gonna have free Samwise Gamgees and they're gonna be free seeing free. It's gonna be... Uh, Gamgees, he makes two foods. And Sari free. So it's seven foods, not that smart as I thought, I guess. Process fucking remix, no. Who thought it's a good idea? They cast might over the old cross on Samwise Gamgee. Probably not what they meant to do. Then I can see the game. Alright. Alright, let's get the needle in this time. Good hand. Kinda. Asma seems pretty good against Infect. This is only a spell, not an ability, right? Yeah. This time why is the starter inside good in hammer? No. Well, it would be for grindy matchups, but playing against elementals, they have 12 exiling removal anyway, so it doesn't even do anything. I and Forge Anu, I don't really like it because of CMC3. Forge Anu is awesome. It's the worst equipper, but just... We get to keep more hands, that's... That's awesome. This 
So yeah, like, of course you'd prefer to draw a cigar as aid every time. Oh wow. It's fine, you spent two cards on that. Tempura Garden, I guess. Tempura. And next time we can look for... Mm -hmm. Chaser de Vila. Probably should have killed Spellskite immediately. Seems better than waiting. They have two Spellskites and Venerated Rod Priest. Can they just kill me? I guess they can. That's crazy. That sounds unbalanced. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Let's play the... Aeos then. I think we're gonna beat the impact and we're gonna be free one of this deck. Actually. Although I will see, maybe I'm gonna still die somehow. Um, is Reprieve that good in order to side out Hallowed Moonlight or things like that? Well, I think Hallowed Moonlight is not particularly good, honestly. And Reprieve wasn't so either. The fairy being in the decks that you'd like Reprieve against is just. It's just murderous. I don't think I'll get under poison counter if I do that. But just way too often I... I had the fairy. I had my point after fairy in play and if you just could play your tricks normally then it will be fine but you just can't cast them half the time. Same thing applies to out moonlight, same thing applies to... to reprieve. I guess against Cascade, you'd probably would rather have Moonlight. Sack Captain, I think. I don't think it does anything. They can cast a spell then. I guess I'd die to become immense. Nobody's playing a light green splash for my Belana. It's not a thing that people are doing. No, you haven't seen them. I'll keep on gaslighting you. But people don't do that, really. I'm playing mono white, but... I certainly never felt like Pierce is particularly great, though. But neither is two mana instance. You really liked Hallow Moonlight. Well... Okay. But like the thing is that they they do have the fairy in their deck, so Orvar at least works. But it also the fairy plays around Orvar like well enough. But there is it's hard enough for Hammer to kill the fairy. Mostly that is actually kind of a big deal, I think. And as I was saying, I don't think Reprieve is better than that card. I think it's just two mana instants versus the fairy, not good. And I would probably play neither. Whoops, I wanted to activate Ranger Captain. I I forgot. Whoops. I wanted to upkeep activate it. But okay, whatever. We're good. <coughs> And the way the fairy works in those decks is pretty frustrating, pretty hard to tackle. BBH. <clears throat> Just kind of that there is no like no way for Hammer to sideboard to actually improve the deck so often. 
feels to me at least. But for the new max hammer better because you get to enact a basic basic plan more often. That's good. No resolve, still secure, or not? And what to do about it? Well, previous turn I wanted to just sacrifice Angel Captain in the rap keep, but I forgot that way I was dead to a pump spell. So I had a way to do that. I just this. So the unique change on Hammer is Forge and New for now. Well, Forge and New I think is good for Hammer, yeah. The cyborg cards not so much. That's been my impression. He's a phenomenal control player. So when I, if I play Hammer next time in a prelim, I'll... I'll play Forge and New, but I don't know what else. So I don't know what does one play to... to be better off against... LMLS. You probably just play resubmit re and roll with it. If you don't play Hashbringer against like the Teferi deck, it's so bad. Hashbringer doesn't improve your deck over like whatever you cut for it. It makes it net, at best, net the same. And likely net minus. This deck looks sweet, but it lacks islands. Why would I have islands in my abs and deck? Also, thank you very much for the Prime sub, Axito. Very nice of you to support my channel. Ink Mob actually deals 6 damage to itself in the form of uh, Ink Mob uh, poison counters. Very nice. Da wish ta -ra, ta -ra -ra -ra. All right, let's finish the league. We're free one. Maybe you can go for one. Oddly. Keep. I guess. Did you combo kill of Sam this league? Yes, yes. I have combo killed of Sam this league. Once. Try Blue Red Wizard Blink. No, thank you. I could change, yeah, but I don't want to, so... I'm gonna keep it this way. I think we lead on Fotsies. We see a marvelous hand. I mean, could take both rands, or I could just let Ren be there. And take bolt and then take creativity later. I don't know. I'll take the, the Ren ski and then take the second Ren ski, I guess. Because my hand is uh, giga slow. But the combo kill was when I assembled the combo. Hmm. Okay. Tempura Garden it is. We've seen the Basajo. How's their draw step? I just assume they drew a useless land because they didn't draw a spell. They didn't look too hard. Notably, they deployed the planes. Any forest. This is not a creativity deck. Didn't want to slow roll Sam to get value. Oh, I can get back the saga. Damn. That would be smart. I missed that part of the card. So I just played it. That's a good idea. I don't think we activated that ability yet. Is it playing like noob again? Yeah, yeah. Spam the Vial. Are they in a Valakut deck, maybe? I mean, or is it Creativity with Forest? No blue, Naya. Well, they have Grazer, they can Creativity with Grazer. Although, you never know what people will actually do. So I'm thinking Scape Shield of some sort, but... Somehow the Ren didn't pick up Bosejo. 
which is interesting. We draw a Ranger Captain next turn. We don't win, I guess, but kind of close. We had five mana. I guess then it is still not close. What is the combo? If you have some wise cut and they suck outlet, that's drainage, infinite drainage. You've got a floater, I guess. I don't think I recognized the combo with the cat. I think it was exactly the same. I did remember saying, telling them that it seems like a card that could uh, combo reasonably easily with something, but I couldn't figure with what. But I almost cemented like a two-card combo, like three-card combos are, are definitely okay by all the standards, I think. Right, I don't have any sideboard cards, so I'll just resubmit once again, I guess. Useless sideboard. And we go. Holy oh, caramba! This is like... Enough to keep? Doesn't seem like... I will though. I wouldn't say that Steel Seeker is slow. Like, it's just weak, right? I wouldn't say that the issue of it is slowness. Triggers happen pretty fast, I guess, once they do. But it requires your other effects to function. And when they don't, it's a very unimpressive card. See one, two for two mana with a weak trigger. Deal of Primordium over Ren. Did you not have a fetch? We didn't, lol. Ay, caramba, no, we are mom, no, you see a mom. I don't know if Rally is over finally, but I would not recommend you to play Rally the Ancestors, regardless of like all the things considered. Play four Galet Goose, four Fable. Wow, those are fast cards. But yeah, I mean, that does make kind of sense. You ramp into Fable and you do stuff. They play the Dryad, so... Right, soon we're gonna combo. Utaicht canister I caramba. It was just way well known phrase, I think. Filigree Silex. Sometimes people just play put like cards into play. Alright, I guess we can combo. Cut. The Simpsons. I never watched the Simpsons. I don't even know the names of the Simpsons. Yeah, finally would make the Zek like normal Asmo deck, I guess. Which would be good. Damn. Chat. No, no. Well, it's fine, I guess. We can we can rally. If they don't kill my zeal, my saga with zeal. Even if they do, I guess we won't because we can just win right now in response. Is that correct? Can they interrupt me with the filigree Xylex? They can, but I have second rally, so same thing. Mm hmm. Well, that's a bummer, because we actually had the combo win available, if not for the endurance here. We would have reanimated Samwise and Viserys here, 
the Seras here would enter the battlefield, so Samwise would make a food. So Steel Seeker would mill a card, which was Cauldron Familiar, which then I would re return through from my graveyard, sacrificing the food and start looping. And I would have a, a spare food, so if they try to Filigree Silex me, I can respond and loop again at all times, right? No, I guess if they kill my Viserys here, then I would need to use the second rally, the Ancestors, while the Sarif, the Sarif Still Seeker trigger would be on the stack. That said, now I am kinda fucked, and most likely I'll just die. Yeah, draw cut. It's solid turn. Sure, bro. Don't even know in which direction they mean that. Their turn was solid, or mine? Or just like a general statement. Keeping the dryad back. I mean, almost. That is a free trigger. Thank you. I actually realized that. I guess I can play Saga on my turn, so it seems like as if I didn't realize, but I actually realized that. Nice no fetch land mana base. Yeah, we got rally upkeep. That way we're gonna get free food, six triggers. We need to draw a land and they set us here. And they need not to have any further interruptions. I mean, I guess if we don't draw, we don't just straight up the eye, but... Well... Wow, we got there, but we we had no land, that's crazy. No land in all those earlier cards, so we got a fetch land, then we would have gotten there. So is that it? Can I do anything else? I don't think I can do anything else. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Lame. All right, almost got in there. But I wouldn't say that this deck felt like a deck that is particularly good at assembling the combo. In fact, it didn't. It felt like a deck that is not particularly great at assembling the combo and uh, would prefer to do it some somehow differently. Rally being a dead card so often was a big issue. Not being able to always cast Asmo was a bit of an issue. And Saga Mana triple color was an issue, and also a bit of a low power level was an issue. So overall, pretty fun deck. That's that's a different deck. It's with this one here, but that was a pretty fun deck, I guess, for one league. That said, thank you, Broski, for watching. Thank you for subbing today. The Kani stream will return. I'm <laughs> sorry.